Hello and welcome to Top Gear India. Well, we got a little surprise, uh, one from Harley Davidson that we'd like to talk about. And as you can tell, it's hinting at a very particular motorcycle that's about to launch. So, it's a case with a cord and uh, the cord is, as you guessed it, it's 440. When you open the case, what you find is, you find a lovely little tablet inside over there, a Lenovo tablet. Um, and inside this tablet, all you have is a set of images for the new Harley Davidson, which I'm guessing most of y'all have already seen. Apart from that, there is also a little secret compartment underneath this case where you have a little code with a special pair of glasses, 3D glasses given into you. Yeah, to read said code. And the code says, Hero Global Center for Information and Technology, Jaipur, India, 3rd and 4th July. So, 3rd and 4th July is when you're gonna have, to, when you're gonna get to see the motorcycle for the first time, and that's when we are gonna get to see the motorcycle too, apart from the photos I just saw. And now let's talk a bit more about this motorcycle. It's a very cool way for Harley Davidson to sort of like introduce their motorcycles. I have to say, this is one of the cooler sides cooler sort of like press kits that I have seen so far. Uh, nice way, very top secret of Harley Davidson. But I mean, we've all seen the spy shots. We all heard about the partnership. We all knew that was coming. So it's not that top secret, you know. It's the Austin Powers of top secret at this point, but top secret nonetheless. So let's talk a bit more about this motorcycle. And uh, you know what? Let's talk about this partnership. It's not the first time an Indian manufacturer is collaborating with a foreign manufacturer. I mean, TVS and Suzuki have partnered once, BMW and TVS have partnered, Triumph and Bajaj have partnered, and now Harley Davidson and Hero. So, what is the idea behind this partnership essentially? Um, so, Harley Davidson gets an opportunity to launch their motorcycles in India and also bring more accessible products to India. While they also work in collaboration in terms of R&D and develop a motorcycle, the same engine that's going to be in the Harley Davidson will most likely feature in the next iteration of the X-Pulse, the X-Pulse 400. So it's a collaboration that's going to be beneficial for on both sides of the spectrum. Now, how is the Harley Davidson engine going to be set up exactly? From what we know so far, it's a single cylinder, 440cc. Um, well, it could be 4 to, mm, yeah, f you know, somewhere, not exactly 440. It could be 441 or it, it could be 439, you know, for all you know. But uh, yeah, 440, just take that as a reference point. And uh, it's going to be a single cylinder. It's going to be oil cooled, not air cooled, because, um, sorry, oil cooled and air cooled, not liquid cooled. And that's mainly down to keeping the costs a bit more down and making this motorcycle a bit more accessible to the public out there. What are the key rivals for the Harley Davidson 440 going to be? Well, it's going to be the Royal Enfield Classic 350 and I think the Honda CB350. Basically, every other classic slash roadster motorcycle in that segment will come against the Harley Davidson. Now, uh, even though we traditionally know Harley Davidson's to be V-twins, this is going to be, uh, for a change, it's going to be a single cylinder, which a lot of people could call sacrilege, but let's be honest, we here in India have loved single cylinder thumpers for since the time Royal Enfield has been around. In fact, other motorcycles too. So I'm sure that if with the right amount of character and personality, this could probably fill in that void and be another thumper that we fall in love with. All right, let's talk about the wheel. So this has 18 inches in the front and 17 inches in the back. Yes, I'm talking about the wheel size. And uh, let's talk about the suspension now. Now, um, in terms of suspension, it has upside down forks in the front and it has dual shock absorbers in the rear. And I'm guessing that Harley Davidson is going to sort of fine tune this motorcycle to find a good balance between ride and handling and also comfort, something that I think most manufacturers would aim to achieve with their motorcycle. Let's hope with Harley Davidson's pedigree that they've managed to achieve it so far. Um, in terms of tires, I think those are MRF tires, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and uh, in terms of brakes, we've got Pibre brakes. Uh, nothing too fancy, simple. So I have a feeling that this motorcycle is not primarily going to be as aggressive. I feel like the power delivery could be linear. It could be an easy going motorcycle that you can have fun with once in a while. Because I really like the style of the motorcycle. What I'd also like to know is just how much, uh, how many accessories Harley Davidson is going to give you with this motorcycle because this class of motorcycle has the type of owners that sort of buy these motorcycles really like tinker with their motorcycles and customize them and so on and so forth. So I think if Harley Davidson was staying true to their core and they would allow people to customize their motorcycles, I think that would like open up a new branch. 
Now this segment is going to be a very competitive one that Harley Davidson is stepping into. Uh, it has to go up against some giants like Royal Enfield with the Classic 350 or the Hunter 350, um, the Javas with the 42s and also with uh, Honda against the CB350. Now Honda and ha Royal Enfield, especially Royal Enfield have been really well established in this segment. They are the go-to choice for most people and they've been a very hard uh, sort of manufacturer to dethrone from that segment not just in terms of as a product but also the kind of environment um, the, the apparel uh, the sort of uh, lifestyle they've created around the motorcycle and if Harley truly aims to dethrone Royal Enfield it would have to go down those lines and really create and curate an experience that is unique to Harley Davidson that can really make most owners feel special about owning their Harley Davidson 440. So yeah, with that said, we're really excited and stay tuned. We'll be updating you further about this motorcycle by the 3rd or the 4th of July. I mean, 3rd of July. You'll see pictures of it roll out by then and by then you'd know all the specs, all the details, everything that there is to know. Uh, before I go, I'd love to mention that in terms of design, I, I personally find it quite attractive. I think it looks quite stealthy, very scintillating. And uh, I would love to see what other colors that uh, Harley Davidson has in the lineup with the 440. I have a feeling they might have like a nice little orange that we once saw on the live wire because um, I don't know, I just imagine that this motorcycle would make orange look really well. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed, let's see what Harley Davidson has in store for India with its first India specific motorcycle that's going to be made in India. This is Gavin Rodriguez signing off.